Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you a clear insight on his honest thoughts and feelings about you, about the relationship connection. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. And let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. And this would be one, two, and three. So let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his honest thoughts and feelings about you, about the relationship connection. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Your energy, you're naturally drawn here to your card representing freedom. And with freedom here being your card of choice, I do want to point out that the energy of freedom, it supports your sense of limitless possibility and potential, boundless expression and bold exploration. Freedom does rule over the energy of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is significant here in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation in the reading, in the sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. But with freedom being here, I'm picking up something very specific from this person as it does relate to, you know, passion, that fiery energy. Um, I feel like this person is very temperamental with his mood. You never know what you're going to get from day to day. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what is his honest feelings? Lost. I feel lost without you. And this is quite intriguing because Sagittarius does rule over traveling. So emotionally, he feels disconnected when he is not communicating with you. He feels lost. He feels alone. He feels abandoned right now because there is that lack of communication. There, that, it, there is that illusion of separation because I call it an illusion because we are never actually truly separated. We are always interconnected. And also here you have the teal crystal. And with the teal crystal, this is the energy of morality and renewal. So what I'm picking up from his energy is that he wants to try again. He wants to start fresh with this relationship connection. There is something that he wants to do different to make amends, to, you know, steer the relationship on like a new path. I feel like you're doing something different with your life right now. You're taking more risk. You know, you are beginning a new version of yourself, really aligning with your higher self and purpose. And so this is a clear insight that, yes, he is really just, he he's feeling regret of the relationship. You know, there's an abandonment issue that is coming up here where you decided to let go of this connection in order to focus more on yourself. So instead of him seeing it in that way, he is feeling abandoned right now. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is happening with this relationship connection? What is his honest feelings? You have the Page of Swords. 
I love the page of swords showing up significantly. It is very interesting because see the swords energy, it does rule over communication. It does represent the air zodiac signs, Gemini, Cancer, and Libra can be significant in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart. But the page of swords here is clearly telling me that he's watching you. He's watching your social media. He is spying on you. He does have prying eyes. Okay. There's something very um, childlike about this person, meaning that he is not mature as he should be. And he does love to gossip. He does love to gossip and you especially about your relationship connection with him. And so when I say he's watching your social media accounts or he's, he's trying to get information from you, he's doing it in secrecy with a private account, a burner account, the type of account that does not have any pictures, you know, and, and it's a totally different name. So that page of swords energy is really about him trying to find out the truth. And you're thinking like the truth of what? <laughs> because he wants to find out what are you doing day to day? Who are you going with? What type of activities are you having? Are you dating? Are you seeing someone else? Do you have new friends? He really wants to know these things. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. So what is happening, Spirit? What is going on? His honest thoughts and feelings about the relationship connection. We clearly see that he does feel like he's losing his grip on you. He's losing um, like your emotional connection to him. And that is something that he does not want to happen. So what's happening, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Look at this. You have the Creator. So with the Creator energy... I love this. This is about you telling him no. You told him no so many times. Things that, you know, he felt like you should agree upon. You have told him no. And he thinks about that no quite a bit. He thinks about your, you setting boundaries for yourself, keeping persistent and insistent boundaries in place. That's something he does think about on a regular basis. And he wonders, how are you able to do this? Why don't you allow him to be a part of your space anymore? But you have laid the foundation, see, because you're thinking more about yourself, your mental well-being, your spiritual health you know, and that balance that that energy does bring when you do feel well and you feel good about yourself. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His honest feelings and thoughts about you. What are his honest feelings? And you have here, others' opinions are less important than my personal guidance system. I love this energy showing up for you because so you see, this is a clear message for you here. I want to put your teal glass stone in the center of your card there. But this is significant because, you know, you did not intend to use the opinions of others to measure against your beliefs, desires, or actions in order to determine the appropriateness of them. Instead, you knew and still remembered long after you were born that it was the relationship between the opinion or knowledge of the source within you and the current thoughts in the moment. These are the opinions that would offer you perfect guidance in the form of your emotional guidance system. And I love this message of guidance showing up for you because this is a clear confirmation of how, yes, he's speaking about you, sharing opinions about you. And you have been thinking about what he's feeling about you. He's thinking about what you are feeling about him. And this is a clear guided message here from your spirit guides, from spirits to ignore the haters, the naysayers, and the doubters. Let them go, shake them off, because it's really about the opinion of your inner source. And your inner source sees you as perfect. 
<laughs> loving, beautiful, and abundant and prosperous, and already living a very beautiful existence. So whatever he thinks is irrelevant. It's so irrelevant, but he just loves to chatter. He loves calling up people and getting on the phone. And I feel like sometimes you think that he, you know, talks a lot more than like a divine feminine energy is what you say. Oh, he talks like a girl. He never shuts up. He's just blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. I feel like that's how you feel. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what is it, Spirit? What's his honest? feelings about you. Look at this air. I love the air element card coming up. It is a very strong confirmation here, especially with the page of swords. That's air energy. And with the air energy, this is about philosophy here, discrimination and empathy. So he definitely knows that you are a warm, kind-hearted soul, and you do have great empathy for him, which is why he feels like you will allow him to be back in your space. But Spirit is really encouraging you here to trust your cosmic GPS system, your intuition will tell you whether or not this is a relationship that will allow you to be the greater version of yourself with no restrictions. I see here feeling freedom is the most important thing for you when it comes to a relationship because if you can't be yourself in the relationship, then what's the use? So trust your intuition. Believe what he has shown you with his actions because actions speak louder than his chattering words. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what is happening? What is happening? Spirit, his honest feelings and thoughts about the relationship. Look at the Knight of Wands showing up. He's worried. He's worried you're going to meet someone. You're going to have a lot more fun with this new person than you will with him. He is in his feelings. He is pressed about someone coming into your life, romancing you off your feet, showing you the time of your life, really <laughs> enhancing your romantic experiences. That's something he does think about. And this Knight of Wands here, this Knight of Wands, he is a very free-spirited, creative person that he's worried about because he is kind of the opposite of the Knight of Wands. He, he's very kind of like, he's not shy, but he's closed off with his expression. And he doesn't really let you see that fiery side of himself. And so that's why he's pressed and he's worried that the Knight of Wands is going to come into your life and offer you something so genuine, so fun and free-flowing, adventurous, and he's insecure that this Knight of Wands is going to just take all of your attention and you're going to be so romantically attracted to this Knight of Wands that he will eventually fall out of your radar when it comes to thinking about him on a daily basis. That's where I was getting that energy from earlier when I was picking up that he is in his feelings. Well, now I know why he's in his feelings because he is not living up to his highest, highest capabilities. So that makes perfect sense now. And so group one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help support the channel. And there's also a super thanks button at the bottom of the channel if you'd like to further show your appreciation. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. 
I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I am dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his honest thoughts and feelings about you and the relationship connection. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. So please take one, mo one moment and click the like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support the channel. If you would like to further show your appreciation, please click that super thanks button just below the video. Let's get straight into your reading. I see that your energy is naturally drawn here to your card, the seventh chakra. And with the seventh chakra being your card of choice, let me do point out that the energy of the crown chakra here, it supports your feeling of being connected to a higher power and part of the larger world, as is seen in the seventh chakra. And seven could be significant in the type placements of the birthday, birth year, or birth month of his energy or yours as a confirmation here in this reading. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Then I will proceed with what I'm picking up from the seventh chakra. And it's quite interesting, but I do want to pull a couple of more cards just to see your mind. <laughs> I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want the world to know you're mine. And this is how he feels. So... And I do feel like there is some toxicity going on there. I feel like he feels entitled to you. He feels entitled to your energy, your presence. So trust, trust your intuition with this person. Because if it's something that makes you uncomfortable or makes you feel unsafe, then kindly move your energy into a different direction other than here but we'll pull more cards to get more clarity the seventh chakra also gave me insight that you are on his mind 24 7 all day every day and see that is something that yeah that can be good but that's not healthy so let's get more insight thank you spirit what is happening here spirit you have the arc Turians, feeling safe, wisdom keepers, and concern. And I love the Arcturians showing up. Thank you, Spirit, for this wonderful confirmation. And Spirit just gave us the insight that this could be a toxic connection with this person, especially him feeling entitled. That's narcissistic energy. That is a cause of having more consciousness over this relationship connection. But I can tell you this, he is concerned about the relationship connection a lot. And he just may be spying on you in ways that you don't know, such as your social media pages or through family or so-called friends. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know that you are guided, you are loved, and you are protected. So always have the energy of feeling safe. Because as long as you have that energy of knowing that all is well, then all will be. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is his honest feelings about you? What is happening, Spirit? Attempting to control others attracts more to be controlled. Look at the confirmation. I am just over the moon excited with spirit showing up in this way. Attempting to control others attracts more to be controlled. And it's a clear message here. Thank you, spirit, that this person does have a tendency to want to control you control his relationship connections. And you see, it's easy to understand how you would come to the conclusion that your path to feeling good is through influencing or controlling the behaviors of others. But as you, content, as you attempt to control them, 
through influence or coercion, you discover that not only can you not contain them, but your attention to them brings more like them into your experience. And you simply cannot get to where you want to be by attempting to control or eliminate the unwanted. This is a clear message here that also, like if he's trying to control you and you don't want to be controlled, Spirit is giving a clear message here for you to know that you are free to exercise your freedom, to live your life with full expression. And as you do do that, you will align with that frequency of freedom, adventures, taking chances, charting new paths, and starting new beginnings with new relationship connections. And as he continues to control, that's on him. That's the energy that you don't want, but it's on him. Don't worry about it. Just turn your focus to freedom and live free. Thank you, spirit. So let's get more insight. This guy is something else. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. What is happening? What is his honest feelings and thoughts about you? Look at this, the page of swords. <laughs> That's about spying and communication. And yes, spirit just gave us that message moments earlier. He is watching your social media pages. He does have prying eyes gossiping, a chatterbox, gossiping, telling a narrative that's not correct. But don't worry about that. Let him say what he wants to say. He cannot hurt you with what he says. He cannot even say anything to you to hurt you unless you feel like you want to be, you know, unless you allow him to hurt you. But he cannot control your emotions at all. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, page of swords, a gossiper <laughs> saying things that, you know, some things that he does say, they are true, but he's just saying things to get attention from others, to get others to communicate about you because he wants this connection so bad and he wants to feel like he's always a part of your day to day. He wants to feel like he's a part of your the things that you're doing. So that's one way for him to feel like that is to con continually um, communicate about you. I am also picking up that he does say good things about you. He doesn't necessarily say bad things, but he does gossip and may tell information that he is not authorized to tell about you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is his honest feelings and thoughts about you and the connection? The world. So with the world card showing up, I can definitely see that he's very concerned that you're going to travel. You may leave the country. You may travel, have new experiences, meet new people, connect with other people. And then eventually he falls off. You forget about him. You're living a whole new, brand new, spectacular whirlwind life. It concerns him in that way. Because see, you're very, you're not super outgoing. You're actually an introvert, but people think you're an extrovert because you're very kind. And you look very inviting and warming where people want to talk to you. They want to know what's up with you. They want to be friends with you. And you can easily do that with people. And so that is what has him concerned that maybe you'll meet a group of friends or even meet a lover and then your attention will no longer be on him. Thank you, spirit. So let's get more insight. Oh my goodness, what is happening here, spirit? What is going on with this guy? <laughs> what is going on? Thank you, spirit. The 12th house, introspection. So with the 12th house showing up here, this is quite intriguing. The number 12 is significant in the birthday, birth year, or a birth month, either his or yours. The 12th house does rule over the unconscious. 
the limitations and introspection. It does also rule over the zodiac sign of Pisces. So that zodiac sign of Pisces is significant. And I see why he would be watching your social media because Pisces does represent finding out the truth or myster mysteries. He's wanting to see what you are doing. Could you be hiding something from him? What is really going on? And you're just living your best life. You're not hiding anything, but he thinks that all the time. Thank you, Spirit. And with the 12th house ruling over limitations, there is that control showing up. So I love this confirmation coming through with the 12th house ruling over limitations, him trying to limit you, control you. And look how nicely the 12th house card lays naturally under your mind where he says, hey, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want the world to know your mind. And what a coincidence that the world card does show up as well. Spirit is giving you a very strong message here with high confirmation. Your reading is extremely accurate, but it's very important that you do raise your discernment with this relationship connection. And if this connection does not feel like something you want, or something that is freeing, where there's a reciprocity of love, appreciation, adornment, and selflessness. It must be that in order for you to thrive and live your greater version of yourself. Pay attention. Trust your intuition here. So group two, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Also, click subscribe and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can support the channel. If you like to further show your appreciation, please click that super thanks button just below the video. It is that heart shaped icon and I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I am dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his honest thoughts and feelings about you and the relationship connection. Now, I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And so please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and to hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. And let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card representing integrity. This is quite interesting because I'm picking up something very unique about this person's personality. But let me just point out first and say that the energy of integrity supports your choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided by high moral standards. I love this for you. You also have here the gold glass crystal. And it is interesting. Gold represents generosity and compassion, as well as being synonymous with divinity and power in many spiritual settings. Okay, so just straight off here, what I am picking up with his vibe is that, you know, he is someone, I feel like he does try to be morally just. I feel like um, he tries, but he does not do a great job at it because he's not consistent in his practice. He is someone that speaks morally high. But on the other hand, there are so many things going on behind the scene that are in contradictory with his moral, so-called moral standards. But let's get more insight. Also, with that being a part of his personality, he's very suspicious very suspicious of you, 
the things you may be doing in your personal life. He's feeling like you may be not telling him certain things, sharing everything that you have going on, new friendships, you know, even your finances, personal business. He wants to know, but you are not sharing. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Andromedians, autonomy, free will, and manifestation. Thank you, Spirit. So with this, with autonomy and free will and manifestation, you know, he feels like you are doing your thing, going about your day, living your best life, doing what you want to do. He knows that he cannot cuff you. He knows that he cannot control you or hold you down. And that kind of ruffles his feathers a little bit because he really wants to do that, okay? He wants to be in control of your emotions as they do relate to him. He doesn't really care about other things you think about, but he wants to control how you feel about him. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is his honest feelings about you? What's his honest feelings? Will you listen? <laughs> yeah, see, he is saying here that there are so many things that I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? And this is quite interesting because Spirit just gave us that insight moments early on how, you know, he may say one thing, but doing something else altogether. And so by him not being consistent, you don't believe him. And he thinks about that. He thinks about certain things that he has shown you and how because he's shown you his actions and he's shown you his true colors, you don't really believe a thing that he has to say. And that bothers him. But why couldn't he just be honest in the first place? And none of this stuff would have happened. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is his honest feelings about you? His honest feelings? Yeah. Five of Swords, it makes perfect sense with the Five of Swords showing up here. That Swords energy is air energy. It's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in the top placements of the birth chart. And the Sun, Moon, or Rising Signs, the seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation in this reading. But specifically here with the Five of Swords, you see, he feels like you're going to retreat. You're going to shut down, close out, go into solitude, leave him alone because you are really trying to renew your spirit. You know, you feel like this relationship, this connection has taken so much out of you that it's time to refresh, regroup, and renew. And he's afraid that once you do go into that solitude mode and you retreat and you rest, you're going to evolve with a greater intuition and really know and see certain things that you did not see before. The Spirit is encouraging you here to trust your intuition. The sword's energy does represent communication as well. You're very worried about something you have communicated with him, and maybe you did not get the answer that you were hoping for. But pay attention to his actions. They will tell you everything that you need to know. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is happening here? <laughs> His honest feelings. Whoa. About you and the relationship connection. Others' opinions are less important than my personal guidance system. Yeah. So this is really about the haters, the naysayers, and the doubters here. And it's a clear message from spirit to tell you that you did not intend to use the opinions of others 
to measure against your beliefs, desires, or actions in order to determine the appropriateness of them. Instead, you knew and still remember long after you were born that it was the relationship between the opinion or knowledge of the source within you and your current thoughts in any moment that would offer you perfect guidance in the form of your emotional guidance system. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say this because I said I would never hold anything back. He is a hater. And I feel like he's a hater because he's insecure. So do not take it personal. As a matter of fact, you already know this. You notice know by his reaction to certain things that you have shared with him. How did he respond? That made you think, oh, wow, he's hating. You're absolutely correct. But... Instead of resentment, send him love, white sparkly light. Because you want to always have your vibration super high, raise your vibration, align with that frequency of forgiveness and love so that you can attract the relationships that offer you appreciation, loyalty, respect, and love. His opinion means absolutely nothing. And that is a message clear here from spirit. So whatever he's saying to you about you, just take it in stride. It means absolutely nothing. Your opinion about yourself and the source within is the answer here. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more insight. What in the world? Is this guy up to? I'm feeling a strong sense of shadiness. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I'm feeling shadiness all around this energy and him being shady, shutting down, going into his feelings, um, being very sensitive and mysterious, wanting you to ask him, hey, what's going on? What's wrong? Why why, why aren't you opening up? That's, that's a game. That's a manipulative ploy. So pay attention and don't play his game and he will no, will no longer be able to use that game on you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The Page of Wands. So with the Page of Wands energy, this is that fiery, passionate, enthusiastic energy. And this is really how he does see you. But he will never tell you that he sees you as this very active person, this divine energy that is that aligns with your inner child. You're free. You like to have fun. You don't like drama. You like to have a good time and you want your relationship partner to do the same. And this is how he does see you. Very active kid. You always want to start a new project or do something new. And he finds that very intimidating. And it's not your problem to wonder why he's intimidated. Just let him be. And there's a song by the Beatles and it's called Let It Be. So just let it be and continue to live your best life. The wand energy does rule over the Fire zodiac signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are in the top placements here in his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. What is his honest thoughts and feelings about you? Honest thoughts and feelings. transits. It's about change. It's about the climate. It's about the climate in the relationship and the climate with the relationship. It's not hot and it's not cold. It's just warm right now. The connection between you and him. That's what he's feeling. He doesn't feel like it's completely cold or it's hot but he does feel like it can change in one of those directions at the drop of a hat, at the blink 
of an eye, you can change on him or there's something that he can do to make the relationship change. He wants a change. He wants it to be a relationship that, um, that he <laughs> can really just have the power to um, manipulate. He wants to manipulate the relationship, the narrative, your day-to-day. And so you already know this, though. You know who this guy is. You know he has narcissistic tendencies. Can, and it's just, just it's, the integrity here in your card that you chose first is really a very strong message to you to go ahead and express yourself fully, but always do it with kindness and tact. Even if you have to tell the truth, you can do it without frustration or cursing him out, you know, like you really want to do. So just tell him exactly how you feel and you will have that integrity given back to you, even if it's not from him. The group three, this does conclude your reading and I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, hit that subscribe button. That is how you can help to support the channel. And if you'd like to further show your appreciation, hit that super thanks button just below the video. It is that heart-shaped icon. And I am sending you lots of love and good energy.